Weapon here, here. Once again, we're going to do another review. This time it's going to be on the Warthog V Sharp. And this right here is a sharpening system. It's the best means of sharpening a knife. Anybody can do it. And I do mean it. Absolutely anybody can do this. And you can end up with a very, very, very sharp knife very quickly. No effort. Now, like I said, it's, I've been testing this thing extensively for over six months now. And it really has opened my eyes. It's a fantastic sharpening system. I've used this in the field. <laughs> I go ahead and I take it. This is what it looks like. This is it. This is the original. And this right here has worked for me precisely every single time. Everything from a regular knife to an ulu to machetes. I've, I've sharpened a sword with this. And I've also sharpened tomahawks. All with the V-Sharp. Now this is a, a diamond sharpener. And as you can see by these, these arms right here, these arms allow it, it to automatically set the angles. So if you place your, your knife in there, it's automatically going to have the proper angle for you. You can reset the angles on here. I've always used to use it on the factory setting. I've never had to switch it around. But you have a uh, setting here, here, and here. And then you've got the top setting here. Allow you to go ahead and fine tune a little bit more. You've got the knobs on the side. This is so you can go ahead and set it right up to whichever knife you may have. Uh, if you have a single, single edge or, or double edge, you can go ahead and set that up. This works very easily. You take your knife. This plastic here, this is a, a little plastic guard. Well, this little plastic guard here, this is your guide. And the guide allows you to just place it up against the guide and run it down, and that's it. But right now I've got the steels in here, and you probably can't see that, but all I have to do is just pop these steels out. There's one, and there's the other. Now it's ready for sharpening. I go ahead and I set these up. I've been using it six months, so I, I just go ahead and I, I just quickly eyeball it. And I go ahead and I say, okay, that one right there is set. And so basically, by turning these knobs, it allows you to you know, position the, the bars here, position them in the way that your knife is going to be setting. Remember, the one thing you make sure you do is make sure you are up against the guide and not running it down the center. Running it down the center is the wrong way to use it. You run it right down the side of the guide. The guide for a reason. Guide. <laughs> a lot of people have gone ahead and done reviews on this and have used it wrong. And if you use it wrong in a review and it still and they still was able to get a knife sharp, um, well, that tells you something. Now, even using it wrong, it gets it right. But always use it right. Make sure you use that guide there. It'll work really good every single time. Now you just go ahead and you, you turn these knobs in and out and that'll be able to set your position of, of the rods here. And I always kind of just, like I said, I, I eyeball it on there. These come with a really good CD and everything. I highly suggest you watch the CD. It's super easy. You can't screw this up. Trust me. If you have a knife that's never been sharpened this before, what you do is you do a seesaw action. You go ahead, I mean, See if I can hold on to this so you can see it. You take your knife and you place it against that guard and you go out and you go back in. And you just do this back and forth. And you just basically, you're supposed to go ahead and, and do your seesaw in there. And if you do your seesaw, what happens is it's going to go ahead and set the angles really quick. If you use one of those those really small ones, um, and I don't have one sitting right here, but one of those really small carbide sharpeners, mm -hmm. and you take the carbide, you place your knife in, in that little slot, and you go like that, and you can see metal coming off. Take a really good look at the carbide. I've taken a look at those with magnifying glasses, and what you're going to find is the carbide is not straight. A lot of times the carbide will be off to the center, or it won't it won't have the you know the end basically it hits the plastic before it gets down to the bottom or 
there's imperfections in the car by itself, which is what I see most of the time. Most of the time what I see is a, a rough edge, and be rough edge on one side, partially straight, then the other. So by doing it that way, you're not getting the perfect edge, and that's what you want. Everybody knows that you know, you're know you supposed to go ahead and take your knife, and you're supposed to go ahead and you know, count to ten on one side, and then do it on the other side, count to ten, and kind of do it that way. Well, there's none of that with this. It's really easy to use. Like I said, you go ahead and you, you do your seesaw action, and that sets the edge. And then once you have that edge set, then you do your sharpening. And your sharpening is really simple. You start, start in the top, like you normally would. Start in the top, and come right on down. So you just kind of come right on down. And when you do that, it make sure you're on the guard. And like I said, you can adjust the top here for whichever type of knife you have and the bottom ones for any, anything that's unique as far as you know, angles. And just go ahead and do that a couple of times. I can tell this is extremely sharp already. And once you finish that up, it only takes, you know, probably 10 swipes and probably done. First time through, you probably go ahead and do a few more. Uh, what I find is it is extremely sharp whenever you, you, know, you, you see that edge on there. You can, if you know the, the trick, don't try it if you don't know how, but you take your fingernail and you can go ahead and, and run it along the, the blade, the top of the fingernail, not the side so you don't cut yourself. And you can run it very carefully and lightly across. And if you feel any, any grabby spots, then you've got a problem with your blade, which means that you have to go ahead and continue sharpening. Um, typically with this, you're never going to have to have that problem. This is a diamond, diamond sharpener. You can get the different grips, like the different grits. I think this one here is a 600. And like I said, I sharpen a lot of knives. <laughs> um, and I've sharpened everything from you know, bayonets and everything else. I've sharpened a shovel with it. And I didn't bring my shovel with me. Oh, yes, I did. <laughs> I've gone ahead and sharpened this shovel with it. This right here is a cold steel, and this is really good, really sharp. And I was able to go ahead and chop down trees with the shovel. Worked great. And the reason it did is because I had it sharp using this. I've also, like I stated, I've gone ahead and sharpened up. My tomahawks. This right here is a SOG Fusion, and this right here is a tomahawk, which is you know it's kind of a multi-purpose tool or instrument. It's designed for self-protection as well as you know, camp duties. It's like a spare knife, or it can be used as a knife. And this right here is you get the idea. That's a tomahawk. So you get the idea that it does work. And this is all sharpened using the warthog. It works beautifully. Here's the other one. This is the cold steel. And remove the sheath. Once again, this is a, a very sharp one, or supposedly. And I just sharpened it before I did the video here. And... You get the idea? Extremely sharp. If I can sharpen a tomahawk to that type of sharpness, this is shaving sharp, then what do you think the chances are sharpening one of these? Any size knife, as long as it goes ahead, it fits within the guard. If it fits within the guard, you got her made. Uh, if you are brand new to sharpening or you're... <laughs> brand new to sharpening with the stone. You've never been able to do it really good. Uh, typically, it takes a lot of years to get stoning really, you know, really good at it. And if you don't have the patience or you, know, you just don't want to really deal with it, this is what you need. These are, uh, well, they, you know, they can be, they're not dirt cheap. I mean, you're not going to buy one of these for nineteen ninety five. Um, but then again, the quality you're getting. Yes, this is like an aluminum body and it's got a, 
a plastic guard. Well, you can buy uh, uh, higher quality ones. And I, I don't mean quality in a bad way for this. Higher quality and you know, absolute precision machine and everything else. If you're going to go ahead and do something like that, you're probably going to end up paying $600. It's just not worth it. This thing right here, it's designed specifically to do this. It's under spring tension, so you're able to go ahead and, and set that tension, and it's always going to be perfectly sharp every single time. The, the real kicker in this, let's see if I can find it now, what really makes this, <laughs> of course I've moved everything around, now I can't find anything. What makes this work so well is these little steels. And with the steel, all you do is you just take that steel, you place it in there, and you pop it right on. That steel is in place. If I can find my other one, I'll go ahead and I'll show you that one too. But eh, I moved too many things around. Oh well. Not worth it. <laughs> Once you have the other steel on here, do a few passes with the steel. The steel is what does the magic on here. Once you go ahead and get this thing sharp, and then you put your steel in place here. If you run your pass with the steel on there, the same way, make it against, you'll put it against the guard and do nice smooth, react, nice smooth action. And that steel will take that, that microscopic rough edge that you have, even with the fine grit, and takes that and kind of pushes it together, makes it sharper. And it definitely does. Go ahead and hit. Try it before you use the steel and, and check what kind of edge you got. And you're going to be impressed with the edges that you have. Do the steel and you're going to be just, your mind's going to be blown on how much a difference it really does make. This is a fantastic sharpener. It really is. I highly recommend it. This is a patented product as well. Um, and it comes ready assembled. Uh, super fast razor edge. Absolutely does. Uh, uh, sharpens at a con constant angle it absolutely does adjustable sharpening angles yes knives last longer yes because if you're using the carbide you're removing metal and you're moving a, a lot of metal metal you don't need to re be removing with this right here with, with these diamond hones you're able to go ahead and get this sharper with the least amount of material being removed <clears throat> quality guaranteed yes I've had nothing to say about this. It's got the nice wooden base, stays right there. You can leave this in the kitchen. All your kitchen knives end up sharper than you've ever seen them before. Uh, no, I don't sell these. So, <laughs> just because it's starting to sound like a, you know, a commercial. It's just that I am really sold on this. I've been testing it for, like I said, over six months. And it absolutely stands up to all the words they tell you about them. Uh, this comes out of Austin, Texas, Warthog Sharpeners, LLC. And to purchase this, you can go ahead and go right directly to their website, www.v-sharp.com. And it really does do what it says. It, it looks like something you'd see at, yeah, on one of those commercials on TV, you know, it chops, it dices, it does this, it does that, and then you get it home and it never does. Well, this one right here, the B-sharp, absolutely guaranteed this thing will sharpen your knives or tomahawks or shovels or anything that's going to fit in here. It's going to sharpen. I've done just about everything. I've sharpened hundreds of knives in the last six months using this. And I sharpen over and over and over again. I've sharpened so many things on here that one thing I probably recommend is that when you buy one, buy an extra set of steels. Um, I've actually used this so often that I'm actually wearing out the steels. It tells you how often I've been using this. Uh, your most, most average people, they won't use it nearly as much as I have. I, this is been some major testing of this product here. I really, really like it. I really believe in it. It really works. Make sure you use it correctly. Make sure you use the guide. Make sure you have your settings correct. Follow the DVD. They, you can go to the website and they've got basically the DVD contents there. Follow that. They also make a version of this that's plastic and it's basically designed so you can, it's got, uh, you can you know, buy the case 
got a nice little case. I'll do a separate review, review on that one coming up. But basically, it's a more compact version. It's lighter, and you can be able to go ahead and take it with you to your base camp. So if you're going to be cutting up, you know, processing whatever kind of meat, you can go ahead and sharpen or resharpen right there at base camp. Um, fantastic. It really does work. If you're looking for something that's going to be able to sharpen your knives and do a fantastic job on it, shaving sharp, you can go ahead and shave. Well, you can use this to sharpen your straight edge razors for shaving. This really does work fantastic. On my other one, uh, the, the more compact version, um, that right there, I have two different styles of diamonds on here. I've got, uh, I think, 600 and 1,000. You don't need the 1,000. You really don't. There's no need for it. Um, I got the 1,000 thinking that I might need that to make it shaving sharp. No, you don't need it for shaving sharp. Buy it as it is. You don't need any additional stones or you know, diamond hones. It would be kind of nice to have a, uh, an extra set of steels. Like I said, you know, I've used a hell out of mine, and it's starting to wear it down a little bit. Every once in a while, i got to take this across a steel or uh, across a stone just to go ahead and get it even again and make sure it does the, the best possible job, and it does that every time. Uh, like I said, anytime you can go ahead and use a device like this, you walk up to it, and within three minutes, you are able to get a nice shaving sharp blade. That's the kind of performance I need. That's the kind of performance I like. So if you're looking for that kind of performance, take a look at it. This is the V-Sharp. This is the classic version. And I really think you're going to like it. Check them out. Be a link below as well. And any comments or questions, leave it below. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to rate my videos. I'm Weaponeer, and I'll catch you in the next video. Come on.